with, we must talk about the issue that's you know happening in Karnataka as far as the BJP is concerned. BJP, which calls itself the most decisive and disciplined party, is now struggling somewhere to find a face to sit in the opposition in Karnataka. Two months have passed since the Karnataka mandate, but the BJP is yet to name the leader of the opposition. Now, this is the first time, viewers, in over 30 years that Karnataka Assembly session has began without an opposition leader. And more importantly, this is the budget session, mind you. The Chief Minister Sidramaya has all said to present the budget in just about a day from now. But what's leading to this prolonged delay? Well, groupism, factionalism are some of the reasons here. Former Chief Minister Baswaraj Bamai has, of course, been one of the front runners for the leader of the opposition position. Now, he's also, of course, facing not just competition, but also opposition from within the BJP ranks. Others who are in the fray are Mr. Ashwat Narayan. There is, of course, R. Ashok. There is also Baswan Garuda Patil Yatnal. There is many others who, at this point in time, including Mr. Arga Gyanendra, who was also the Home Minister in the previous regime, they all believe they could be contenders considering their seniority and also their political prowess as well. Meanwhile, BJP strongman and ex-chief minister, Mr. B.S. Yadurappa, is leading the talks to appoint the new leader of the opposition. Even though he does not hold any official position in the party, nor is he a uh, nor, of course, at this point in time, he is looking to uh, become, you know, the leader of the opposition because he is not even a legislator. Now, he says that the central leadership will decide on the face. Two BJP central observers, of course, who were sent from Delhi have returned after gathering opinion of most of the senior leaders here in Karnataka. But the decision at this point in time still remains pending. Meanwhile, Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya has called the BJP yesterday the most indisciplined party. Today we spoke to yet another MLA, Mr. Baswan Gauda Patil Yatnal, about what is happening. Let's firstly listen to what he had to say. Sabi Amara Jo senior MLA Sri Amara Party can etan Sabi Milai. उन्होंने उनका जो क्या-क्या कर्नाटक में भविष्य में लोकसभा चुनाव के लिए तैयारी के लिए किसको विपक्ष का नेता बनना किसको प्रदेश अध्यक्ष बनना सभी जानकारी लिया है मुझे लगता है एक दो दिन में निश्चित तौर पर डिक्लर हो जाएगा और क्या आप एस्पिरेंट हैं सर खुद नहीं मैं तो पार्टी जो जिम्मेदार well, uh, my colleague Imran is joining me live on the broadcast. Well, Imran, uh, you know, we've been speaking about this now through the last a week or more. The assembly session has begun in about a day from now. Mr. Sidramaya is presenting his budget. The BJP seems to be in a real fix at this, at this point in time. Yes, Deepak, as you rightly said, this is the first time that in Karnataka that an opposition, without a leader of opposition, the governor was also welcomed in, uh, since then that he was there. He was welcomed only by the ruling party. And uh, this is the first time session, uh, that your budget session has started. There is no leader of opposition. It's a big embarrassment for the BJP here that the Congress has been targeting. In fact, today also the Chief Minister said, what the moral ethical ground the BJP is talking about when questioning their schemes, when they couldn't even uh, find a leader of opposition among themselves. And this too, this is the first time in the history, probably in the politics of India, that an observer was sent to uh, appoint a leader of opposition. Even after taking the opinions of all the uh, MLAs who are willing to give their voice, their opinion on the leader of opposition and the party leader, uh, there's, there's still no decision yet. They're very indecisive on the part of the Central High Command as to appoint who is the leader of opposition in Karnataka. This is many uh, points towards the factionalism in the, in the party and a strong, uh, you know, uh, if, uh, if, uh, group within the lobbies, within the party, the fear that anyone is appointed, it will only explode as per other opposition in, within the party will uh, try to hijack the other issues. Now, there is a two post like in there. One is the party president, one is the leader of opposition. One is uh, where the leader of uh, former chief minister, B.S. Uh, uh, even went to Delhi to, to uh, convince High Command over this issue. But there seems to be reluctance and there seems to be hesitance to appoint the leader of opposition. Consider with the factionism and what kind of uh, internal fight and squabbles public outspark will see uh, because of appointing of one leader. We see the past uh, 10 days, we've seen how in public forums there have been leaders voicing their opinions against each other. Some even led to the protest in the, in the public sphere, which led to a party to issue a gag order against several of their MLAs. But despite that, the party has been indecisive. Within the party circles, yes. they're informing Mirror now that within a span of two to three days, they will appoint, but the whole entire issue has brought embarrassment for the party. And in fact, uh, the ruling party is leaving no chance to, to make it the point that the BJP is not the party which claims it about. 
Well, uh, Imran, there are very few MLAs at this point in time who even want to comment on this issue because they, at this point in time, are in a state of shock about how this entire issue is being dealt with. Now, to discuss more about this, uh, I'm joined in by Abhishek Banerjee, who's a columnist. Uh, he's uh, joining us. Uh, uh, Samarod Hegde from the Congress Party is also with us. Maya Sharma, senior journalist, also joining us on this uh, debate tonight as we discuss this particular pandemonium of sorts that the BJP is in at the moment. Firstly, I'd like to come uh, to the Congress spokesperson because at this point, uh, Samrud, you know, the BJP is even opting to talk about this, opting out of talking about this because they don't know what to say at this point. And that's, that's what it looks like because when you ask them, well, do we have somebody to comment on this issue? Well, there's nobody. When you go to the Vidhan Sada, when you speak to the MLAs, they don't have an, an answer. Why is the High Command really letting this happen for the BJP, especially because you have the crucial Lok Sabha elections coming up. BBMP is absolutely important. They need a strong leader. And for the first time in several decades, you have a situation like this that has been created. Uh, thank you for having me on the show, Deepak. I think the fact that uh, none of the members of the BJP is on the panel tonight is evident in itself that they are a fragmented group at the moment. Uh, the BJP are doing a disservice to and are disrespecting democracy at large. Uh, the third day of session has concluded, and the state still does not have a leader of opposition. Uh, let me remind you, Deepak, that the leader of opposition plays an important role in the functioning of a government and has a duty towards the state at large. The leader of opposition is supposed to assume the role of a shadow chief minister uh, to further a healthy democracy. But then again, when has the BJP ever worked to further a healthy democracy? The leader of opposition is supposed to be part of various panels various commissions, various committees, and plays a vital role in appointments. Not appointing a leader of opposition in itself shows that the BJP has no respect or regard for the law or for the people of Karnataka. Whom they appoint and is an internal issue of the BJP. But the fragmented and divided BJP is on clear display. In fact, when the state BJP is so clueless and aimless, the national BJP, the national BJP leadership is engaging in politics of vengeance. I mean, now they're planning to join hands with the JDS who are equally as clueless. For the first time in history, as, he, as your correspondent reported, that there is no leader of opposition, and now we're entering the budget session, the BJP have to get their act together. Well, Samrud, what this also allows you as a Congress party to do is have a free run in the assembly. The, you know, you don't have a, a leader of the opposition who's, uh, you know, leading the MLAs together, countering you on various issues. And this is the primary responsibility of a responsible opposition. Abhishek Banerjee, we believe, uh, is going to, you know, back the BJP here or defend them. Not sure how he's going to do that. Well, uh, Mr. Banerjee, this is a very precarious situation for, uh, you know, the Bharatiya Janata Party. Probably in, in the last nine years, we haven't seen, for, you know, a situation like this arise for them. The BJP, but uh, what I do, but I would can say is that uh, as far as I know, yes, Europa became minister in July 2019, and it was only in October of 2019 that Ramaya became the leader of the opposition. But uh, other than that, uh, it also was a little abuse to hear the Congress uh, point out what is the importance of the leader of the opposition. But I'm actually right about that. So I would, I am actually from Jharkhand, and I want to point out that in Jharkhand, Abdullah Parandi is the leader of the legislative party, which is the largest party in position in Jharkhand. And your, so, your audio is a little patchy. I'll come back to you once we fix that. Uh, we also have uh, Maya Sharma, senior journalist, with us. Uh, uh, Madam, when you look at this entire scenario, we spoke just a couple of days ago about this, and we were hoping that within the 24 hours that we spoke, this issue is resolved. But we still don't see somewhere a consensus. And the observers were here. They've already spoken to the leaders. They've gone back to Delhi. But even now, no decision. Absolutely, Deepak. We were quite sure, I think, that by this time, there would be a leader of opposition in place, that the BJP would have got its act together enough to actually name a person. And this is a hugely important position. Um, of course, we've had former chief ministers like B.S. Yadiyurappa, like Siddharamaya, who have been leaders of the opposition before and after their chief ministership. Perhaps if there was no other alternative, they could have just gone with B.S. Uh, Basaraj Bombay, who was chief minister of Karnataka, who has been a long-standing legislator, of course, in the Karnataka Assembly. And the fact that even now, on the eve of the presentation of the budget, there is still no leader of the opposition in place, 
It's a very unusual situation. And whichever political side you're on, the leader of the opposition is a very, very important person. They have to be able to take on the government. The budget is a hugely important piece of a decision to be taken by the state. It's a very challenging time also for the Congress, given the all promises that they have made to balance the budget that way. This is really a time when the BJP should be able to question the Congress on what it's doing, on its promises. The fact that they're heading into a budget session without a leader of the opposition being named is very unfortunate for that party. I and mean, it suffered a massive defeat, of course, in Karnataka in the elections in May. And in July, if they've not been able to regroup, if they've not been able to come together to find an acceptable face, it doesn't look good for the party. And of course, with the general elections just a year away, they need to get their act together in this very important state if they want to maintain the performance that they had really in 2019, where they won really most of the 28 seats, 25 of the 28 seats. So what does that mean heading into the Lok Sabha elections? That would be very interesting to watch. Absolutely. And uh, whether they can even replicate that performance with this sort of a uh, situation that they're looking at, that is question number one. And secondly, of course, the other question that arises is allowing this vacuum of leadership uh, how, for, uh, prolonged for so long. Does this create more problems within the BJP? Because you're looking at, you know, each and every day, more and more leaders who are coming out and making statements against the interests of the party. Mr. Banerjee, I believe, is back with us. Mr. Banerjee, uh, how do you really look at a solution to all of these problems that emanate from one little issue that the BJP itself has created? Yeah, so I'll make uh, several points because I'm not sure I was heard the last time. So first thing I'll say is I never said anything about backing the BJP or any particular party. But uh, other than that, I was a little amused to hear this concern because if I remember correctly, B.S. Edurappa, he became uh, chief minister on 26 July 2019. And the Congress did not have a leader of opposition in place until 9th of October 2019. But uh, the representative from the Congress is absolutely right that the leader of opposition occupies a very important place in uh, democracy. In that case, I want to remind him, I'm actually from Jharkhand. And Babular Maran is the leader of the legislative party of BJP, which is opposition in Jharkhand. And the Congress has declined to give him the leader of opposition post. And that is why that post is vacant since 2020, as a result of which all sorts of appointments, even in the Women's Commission, all sorts of Children's Rights Commission are all held up. So maybe you should take some of that concern for democracy. But other than that, I have to act a little surprised. I mean, you know, is the Congress facing any problem in ruling Karnataka because the, there is no leader of opposition? In that case, what are they asking about? I mean, you know, today I read in Bangalore Mirror, for instance, that Bangalore Metro is having difficulty finding skilled personnel to do their construction work. Maybe the Congress can focus on that. I read that on June 22, there was a strike by the Karnataka Chamber of Commerce over increase in electricity prices. Maybe they should talk about that. Then there is concern that, you know, this 12-hour uh, shift uh, for uh, labor in industry bill, which was heavily uh, needed by Apple and Foxconn and their contract manufacturers, there are worries that that bill might be removed by the new government. Maybe the Congress should talk about that. So please talk about issues of the people. Don't worry about uh, who is leader of opposition or not. Uh, let other parties figure that out. Of course, it's, uh, you know, the BJP's internal concern, but the only reason that, of course, we are keeping this as one of the focus issues is because you have the budget that's going to be presented and without a leader of the opposition to counter the Congress, isn't it politically an opportunity as well for the BJP? And more importantly, you have a budget that's going to be presented with the five guarantees eating away into most of the finances. You, uh, you have uh, the Congress, which is going to, of course, struggle to bring in new infra projects. There'll be, of course, uh, hikes that will probably be there in various departments that comes under the state. So if, if you do not have a leader who can be well prepared because it, you have the budget that's going to be president on the 7th, you have about 24 hours and the leader of the opposition probably, if we assume, is going to be chosen tomorrow. How much time does he have really to prepare? I mean, you know, these days, uh, everything is in public, there's social media, it's actually the people who will judge everything. I don't think it particularly matters who says what on the floor of the assembly. The government will be responsible to the people, people will judge them. And I think that's exactly what the Congress would like it. That's how the BJP would like it. That's how, as a citizen, I would like it. That's how everyone would like it. Well, I, I'll go back to Maya Sharma here because, you know, when we look at this sort of a situation, uh, you were mentioning, ma'am, earlier that uh, it is an important budget. You were, um, you know, talking about the guarantees as well and how uh, crucial they are. Uh, but when 
you know, Mr. Banerjee believes that it's, it's, it's not a big problem at all. It can be dealt with and the Congress doesn't have to worry about it and nobody really needs to worry about it. If you could just, you know, highlight how important this role is and especially at this juncture. In any democracy, you have to have another voice. It's a very dangerous situation if the ruling party, whether at the center or at the state, has its own way without being questioned along the way. Now, while the role of the opposition is not necessarily only to oppose, there has to be a voice questioning the government in any situation. At the center, yes. And at the state, yes. Especially when the ruling party has such an overwhelming majority, there needs to be somebody to perhaps keep them in check. It is a very important situation. It is very important that there is a leader of the opposition. And why is the Congress bothering so much about it? Well, of course, the BJP lost no opportunity to really mock the Congress when they took a few days' time to actually choose their chief minister and people in glass houses, et cetera, et cetera. Now the Congress, the shoe's on the other foot, and the Congress is definitely using the opportunity to belittle the BJP because, yes, they are apparently established in Karnataka for the next five years, but, of course, everyone is keeping an eye on the general elections in 2024, every party hoping it can bring the MPs that are needed to the centre to form the government, to form a coalition government or to form the government on their own. So that is an extremely crucial thing. So the Congress is not going to miss this opportunity to belittle the BJP, and the BJP is probably missing an opportunity to try and keep the Congress in check at this very important stage. I mean, the budget is such a hugely important time for any state. Well, uh, thank you uh, there, uh, ma'am, for all those, uh, you know, uh, opinions that you did uh, bring in. But last question to Samrud, because, of course, he's been patiently waiting while, of course, Mr. Banerjee had a few things to say about the Congress party not really having to worry about how the BJP does things or chooses their leader of the opposition. But it's going to be a free run if uh, you don't have a leader of the opposition. Of course, you're going to have multiple leaders who are right now trying to prove their worth in the assembly. That's what it looks looked like on day one, at least. Everyone sh shouting from different uh, parts of, uh, you know, the assembly. But if, if they do not actually choose a leader of the opposition, then it's going to be, you know, an easy way out for you, whatever type of budget that you're going to present on the 7th. Uh, we welcome the fact that the BJP has imposed so much uh, trust in the budget of our Chief Minister Sidra Mayaji that they, don't, they feel that they don't even need to oppose it uh, by any means. Uh, I would like to uh, tell Mr. Abhishek Banerjee that we focus on governance. Let the BJP focus on uh, being an opposition. Now that we are in government, we shall take up the issues of the Kannadi Guard. And I, I hope that he shouldn't trivialize, trivialize uh, the assembly and the session and say that, you know, people will question it. They, we have an assembly for a reason. We have a house for a reason. And the opposition is supposed to oppose and give constructive opposition. The only thing that they have gone on to do is try to disrupt and dis be disruptive, as you saw in the last day. On one hand, they say that uh, the the guarantees that we have promised will cause a huge financial burden and will destroy the economy of Karnataka. And on the other hand, they say that if we don't implement it, that they shall protest. I mean, what sort of an opposition is this? Uh, we request that they get their house in order so it will be better for Karnataka as a whole. Right, uh, Samrud, and I thank all the other guests as well for joining us and being so patient on this debate. Uh, while, of course, it is a crucial decision for the BJP, it's still not made. And what's more important, or probably why the delay here that we're looking at is because they believe that the leadership that they went to uh, the elections with didn't work for them. Right now, they want the leader of the opposition to be somebody who could lead, keep the party together, and also ensure that the upcoming elections are something that you know they will be able to change the fortunes of the BJP compared to what happened a couple of months ago. We're going to be moving on to another story that's coming in.